All right, folks. So I've got my. Uh, let me load up uh, one of these big files. This one's 349 megabytes. So I'm gonna copy it um, to my uh, first to my USB 2.0 device. This is the my passport here. I'm just gonna copy it to the root directory here, and we'll see how long it takes. Uh, what happened? There we go. Um, 91 megabytes per second. Actually, you know what? Let's do a bigger file. This one. Actually, it's, it's kind of. Let me go find another file. So I'm going to do this really large file, 1.470 um, gigabytes. There, I'm going to do a. I'm going to copy this one into my thing, so we have enough time to actually take a look at it. And this is my USB 2.0 drive. Um, it's actually pretty fast, 83.8 .8 megabytes per second. I have actually caching enabled, um, which you can get it faster. So 80, 85, 80 megabytes per second. Um, but I have caching enabled. You'll get, in real life, without caching enabled, you get about 30 megabits per second download. Um, to enable the caching, you just have to go to device manager and there's a way to uh, I'll show you how to do that on the, my new one since I have to enable it anyways. So even though it says it's 80, see how it's kind of lagging right at the end? Um, so it's not true. Uh, 56.1. So it's still going. Um, and then next we'll try my eSATA drive which is my iOmega drive, uh, I'll show you here, um, here, that's my Omega. Alright, let's go to my iOmega and I'm going to do the same thing, copy and paste, oops, hold on, what the hell, oh, it's, it's just asking me for permission, continue, and we've got iOmega, which is doing uh, 54, 70 megabits per second download, it's actually about the same. Um, but you'll see that it actually copies through without all that caching, so it's not really fake. Um, it's not using the system. And it's done. So that was quick. That was a pure 80 megabits per second download uh, or copy versus the USB 2.0. It was actually more like 15, 20, or 30 um, because it lagged at the end, so it's not true. It's not that fast. And then we'll go over to my USB 3.0. And actually, I've connected my other uh, passport, um, which is this one. And then I'm going to copy that same, same file over back to this computer. And it will show you the true uh, speed of it, the same 1.4 gigahertz or 4 gigabyte um, file. And this is actually the true USB 2.0. You, you see I'm getting 36 megabits, megabytes per second. Um, so what you saw earlier was the window caching enable. Basically what it'll do is it'll actually copy into the Windows system cache and then you know um, even even after t after it's done copying Windows system will actually copy it. But you will see that you saw that delay. See how long it's taking. It's taking a lot a lot longer my than my eSATA enabled iOmega drive uh, which is a very good drive. You can also use USB but why would you want to use USB? I mean, it's good, but you know, you need extra power. So it is taking forever. <laughs> it's taking forever. It's, um, man, it's taking forever. <sighs> I'm gonna have to wait for a while. Okay, can't even read it right again. Now I'm getting 2.35. Um, what probably happened was because I enabled caching and uh, I, I was supposed to eject it. I have to make sure it's ejected. So now um, it's not working. So cancel that. Um, but I'll just show you um, the benefits of 3.0 here. Let me see if I can find a big file here. About 1.5 gig gigabytes. So here's a file 1.4 gigahertz. I'm going to copy. And I'm going to copy into my new passport drive, which this one is. I'm going to paste it, and this is going to show us how fast it is. 
getting 96, 98, 87.93.3 megabytes per second. Um, that's about without caching enabled. Um, there we go. That's actually really fast. Woo! That's so, it's just as fast as eSATA. But you see there's a lag at the end. No, oh, but it was still fast. Now let's go enable, I'm going to erase the file, I'm going to copy it over again, but I'm going to go to uh, Control Panel, Device Manager, Hardware Sound, Device, oh, man. Device Manager, not that. There you go. And I'm not sure how to enable it in Mac or Linux, but I'm sure there's a way. Um, so if you go here under Disk Drives, and I'm going to actually unplug my other US, my passport, because I don't want to get confused. If you double click on your Mac, My Passport, um, go to Policies, you can see you can do the uh, better performance enabled write caching. So when you enable that, you can even get better performance. Um, the only drawback is you, have to, you actually have to um, re eject it, otherwise your data might get corrupt when you copy big files. So it's been enabled. Let's do a uh, copy to the same, same drive again. Um, so let's see how fast it is now. Now I'm getting 100, whoa, 103, huh, almost over 100 megabits per second download, megabytes per second. So if you look at, uh, if you do have USB 3.0, um, it's definitely worth it because you don't need an extra power adapter and how f quickly it copied over. Now here's what I'm saying: when you when you do when you uh, before you eject it, make sure you eject it in that menu, the thing here, eject USB mass uh, storage device for your uh, My Passport and you'll have to wait because all that caching didn't actually copy it over and then now it's copied over. Now you can remove your drive and your data should be safe. So anyway, that was review of the two, um, oh there we go, uh, the two, two drives. USB 3.0 definitely wins, I think, or is just as good as eSATA. I, I would say it's way better because um, you don't, you only need one port, um, you know, one USB thing, and it, it's compatible with U USB 2.0. Anyway, um, that was just a comparison video of USB 3.0 versus eSATA versus USB 2.0. Definitely, USB 3.0 is the way to go, um, just as fast as eSATA, and uh, you know, more portable. Anyway, see y'all later. All right. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button here. And uh, favorite this video if you like it. Share it with your friends um, on your Twitter, Facebook, or Google Plus, and hit that subscribe button. That'd be awesome. Anyway, I gotta go make videos. See y'all later.